Okay, you guys. Good morning. You're here with the dragon. And I have some exciting news. Well, I guess it's exciting for me. But yesterday, I joined the Suzuki DRZ400 family. And I wasn't intending to. I was not seeking one of these. It just fell in my lap. If you've been following me along, you recognize this bike. This was a customer, um, original owner, bought the bike brand new here locally, 2007. And uh, this is one of those deals you see on TV, you hear about, but it never happens to you. <laughs> so this bike's only got 2,650 original miles, 2,650. Uh, one owner bike, bought locally, never drops, garage kept the whole life. Comes with all the paperwork, manual, uh, kickstart kit. Uh, these these have access for kickstart. That's why that recess is in the pipe there. So I got the kickstart kit, filters, all kinds of spare stuff. Uh, another bag for the back. All that kind of stuff here. 2007 DRZ400S, one owner. Uh, if you've been following along, uh, with me anytime at all, you know that I just recently serviced this bike for a customer. And basically, he bought it brand new in 2007, rode it for a little bit, and then he took it out to where his family is in Wyoming or something. And they rode for like two weeks on these trails or something. And that's where most of the mileage comes from. And then when he got back home, he just hardly ever rode it, and it sat. Then it wouldn't start, so it ended up sitting for six years. <laughs> and uh, he didn't realize it was that long, but that's what it was. Um, we looked at the tags and registration. Sure enough, six years since he had rode it. And uh, anyway, he brought it to me. And like I say, I rebuilt the car, rebuilt the petcock, did all the fluids, flushed the brakes, did all kinds of stuff to it, and got it reliable and ready for him for riding season. And then he comes to pick it up, and he says, I don't even know what I was thinking. He said, uh, I'll never get to ride this thing, and it's going to end up in the same position it was before, not starting, not being ridden. And uh, he says, I ought to sell it. So, of course, uh, my big mouth opened up, and words came spewing out. And I told him I'd rip up his check and give him some cash. I made him a really low ball offer, about a fourth of what they're really worth. Never thinking in a hundred years that he would accept that offer. And he turned around and said, okay, you got a deal. So then I had to scramble because I didn't have the money. <laughs> so I said, I'm like, crap, man, mortgage is due tomorrow. What am I going to do? But I, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up because... I just cannot believe what I got this bike for. So uh, I said, all right, well, give me some time. I got to go to the bank. Really what I was thinking in my mind is, who am I going to hit up for some money? Um, <laughs> because I, I cannot let this deal go. And so I scrambled. I was able to grab the money, and we did the transaction. And I even said, are you sure you're comfortable with this? And everything's cool. You're not going to come back and – say I, I ripped you off or anything. And he's like, no, I'm happy. You know, I just, it just needs to go to somebody who will appreciate it and uh, take care of it and ride it. Let's start this thing up real quick. Instead of talking, I'm going to half choke it. It's been sitting here in the garage, uh, in the shop. So it might be, oh, hang on. I got to use the camera to push the button. like 20 some degrees last night even though it's in the shop I don't have the heater on during the night or it's not on now but yeah starts runs great obviously you can see the condition of it it's just dirty it's been sitting and of course the last time he rode it or whatever he didn't clean it up it's got a little bit of dirt on it 
It's got to be shined up. It's completely bone stock. Uh, like I said, one owner. So uh, unmolested. It's never had any mods done to it. So I get to mod it out. And uh, I'm going to get some uh, footage. I'm going to get one of those knockoff GoPros. And like I was saying a little bit ago, I've got some places I can ride around here. Uh, Jeep trails, fire trails, some stuff like that. So some of them are pretty gnarly. Some hill climbs and some rocks and some mud and creeks and all kinds of cool stuff. So I'll get some good footage for you guys. It'll be uh, probably a whole nother new series, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, yeah, very exciting for me. I'm not one to brag. I'm not trying to brag. Uh, I never get anything for myself. I never buy anything. I was not looking to do this. It just, it came and the price was right. And wifey said, okay, let's do it. You never have anything. You've been wanting one. So, you know, thanks wifey. <laughs> Love you, baby. But uh, yeah, I am just tickled pink about this. So, yep, I'm in the family. So we're, I, I'm not going to do any mods yet. I'm going to put some time on it. That way I can appreciate the mods when I do it. I'm just going to ride it for a little bit and then I'll do mods as I go. But um, I just picked it up yesterday evening and uh, I'm going to call the insurance company today. I'm hoping to get insurance and tags on it today if possible. But I got a ton of stuff, work in the shop to do. So let's see how it goes. I'll keep you all posted. Hey, I appreciate you all watching. Uh, if you got any cool comments, uh, you're a DRZ owner or whatever, you know, let me know what you think and what I should do and all the good stuff. I've already been doing a ton of research. Pretty excited about it. Um, this is this is the bike that I prefer. Uh, I like I like the idea of being able to be riding down the road and see a cool trail or a hill or something you want to go up and you just whip off the road and take the trail. Uh, that's my kind of riding right there. So anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. You got the dragon. Peace out.